motivation is crucial to your success. It's basically the fuel that you're running on. If you lack motivation, then you basically have no fuel, you have no leverage, and I'll talk a bit about what leverage is later on. You won't have any leverage to take action and stay on your path. So what will wind up happening is, after a while, you will fall off your path. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, I'm in a wind tunnel, so I have to amp up my voice a little bit so you can understand what I'm saying. But uh, just follow my ideas and hopefully the audio will not be too fucked up. Okay, so one very important thing to keep your motivation on a high level is the people that you surround yourself with. There's this saying in personal development that you are basically the average of the five people that you surround yourself with the most and the five books that had the greatest impact on your life. So the five people you surround yourself with the most and the five books with the greatest impact. And I know it's a scary thought. No one wants to admit that he's basically the average of the five people that he, he surrounds himself with the most. But just take some time and observe your life. Who are your friends? Who are you spending your time with? Are they extremely successful people? Are they very passionate and motivated? Or are they just like, you know, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but are they just <laughs> regular people with um, regular boring lives? Because if they are, make sure to find some other people that are moving into the same direction as you are, that have the same goals and are passionate and motivated. Because if you surround yourself with people who are motivated, that'll keep you motivated as well, okay? If you pick the right homies and homegirls, then you will become a different person. And this is key. For example, my friends, or let's say most of my friends, they are extremely passionate, they're very motivated, and they're very successful, okay? And one reason why I am successful and <laughs> why I am who I am today is because of my homies, because of my people that I surround myself with. So this is huge, okay? So make sure that if you look at your life right now and you know, you see that your friends are kind of boring and not really passionate and motivated. Although they might be really good p people, you know, they might be really uh, great people, but they just might not have the same drive as you have. So if you surround yourself with those friends on a consistent basis or most of the time in your life, then your drive will also get pulled down subconsciously, okay? This is totally subconsciously. Uh, this is not a conscious process, that's why it's so scary. So even though you might want to be motivated, you might want to be passionate, um, if you surround yourself with the wrong people subconsciously, you will adapt to your environment and you will get pulled down if you want it or not. Then, again, the five books, okay? To keep yourself motivated, make sure to um, let in awesome new content in your brain on a consistent basis. Because if you read awesome books by awesome authors, um, by people who are already successful and have laid out their best ideas, you know, <laughs> in a very easy way to digest for you, then you should really read that stuff and get inspiration because that's exactly what will happen. By reading all these success stories and you know inspirational ideas, you will um, be more inspired in your own life. You will see what other people are doing, you will hear all these stories and it will amp you up, it will keep your motivation on a high level. I'm back inside and I want to add some final thoughts on leverage, what I believe leverage is and how you can create more leverage for yourself. So. In my opinion, leverage is just the emotional energy that allows you to take action and change your life. So leverage is what creates the willpower for you to break through barriers, to break through to the next level, take action, face your fears and just reach the next level and change who you are and you know, reach a new level of success in your life. 
And I learned about leverage the first time from Anthony Robbins. He is big on this topic and he talked about the pain pleasure balance. And now Anthony Robbins didn't make up this stuff. This is some fundamental stuff from uh, motivational psychology. So funny enough, I heard this from Anthony Robbins the first time and then I was at a university lecture. Um, as you might know, I studied psychotherapeutic psychology and at university lecture we had the uh, subject motivational psychology and then I heard it again and I was like, hmm, that guy didn't make that up. So <laughs> basically the pain pleasure balance says that we are motivated as human beings either by pain or pleasure. So either we want to reduce pain or we want to gain pleasure. This is the basic these are the two basic uh, things that drive our lives. And if we're intelligent and in, into personal development, we can start to use those two things in our favor. So we have to learn to start to uh, use pain and pleasure in our favor to reach our goals. So what that means in terms of pain, for example, is if you are overweight, if you are really <laughs> fat, then if you link enough pain to being fat and overweight, then that'll create, create massive amounts of emotional energy or leverage that'll allow you to break through, to bring up the willpower and just lose the weight. Because the pain of being fat is bigger than the pain of bringing up the willpower and breaking through that barrier and losing the weight. And on the other hand, you can also just be motivated by pleasure. So what brings the most pleasure in your life? Is it eating fast food? Is it hanging out on Facebook or watching porn? Or what is it, you know? Are you chasing instant gratification or are you viewing your life as a long-term masterpiece that you're about to paint? So this is a huge difference. What do you link pleasure to? For example, for a lot of people, pleasure, uh, they link pleasure to drugs, to instant gratification, to, you know, all this kind of superficial things in life. And if you want to build leverage, you have to start to link pleasure to other things in your life. So, for example, you have to start to link pleasure to healthy foods. You have to start to link pleasure to going to the gym. You have to start to link pleasure to working really hard and, for example, writing and creating new content for your business or whatever it is. But you have to start to take control of this pain and pleasure balance so you can, uh, so it is, so it works in your favor and creates leverage, emotional energy for you to take action and break through to the next level. So I hope you understand the concept of leverage a bit better and I'll see you soon.